okay? Now, I wanna show you something really cool we have done with Livewire. Are you guys familiar with the feature called it Navigate? It's probably one of my favorite new features of Livewire 3, and it pretty much allows you to um, not perform full page refreshes every time you change the URL. I'm a big fan of it, so I'm gonna show you, okay? So I'm gonna go to this layout navigation, and as you can see, we have, um, what is it? Uh, oh, this is not the one. I actually want to visit um, this navigation on the top right, so log in and register. So I'm gonna go back to my Sublime Text, and uh, I'm gonna go to this welcome navigation. So this is the component that is being used to render this login and register uh, buttons. And I'm gonna remove at the end of those links, I'm gonna remove the wire navigate, okay? I'm gonna just remove them from my sublime text. Now, I'm gonna refresh this page and I'm gonna um, click on the login button. Now pay very close attention. If I click on login button, you can see that there is kind of a full refresh happening behind the scenes. You pro my internet is so fast that you cannot even see it, but there is kind of a full refresh happening behind the scenes. I'm gonna throttle a little bit the network here. I'm gonna put, I don't know, probably slow 3G. And if you don't know, this is a very good feature of Chrome. If you wish to simulate how people with poor internet connection are uh, behave, you know, in your application, you can just activate a slow 3G connection under the network tab, and pretty much you are simulating how people with slow internet connection uh, will visit your uh, application. So you can see that if I click on login, there is a full page refresh happening on top. So if I click on back, full page refresh once again, register, full page refresh once again. Now I'm gonna show you something really cool. I'm gonna add back the wire navigate stuff, okay? Click on Chrome, I'm gonna refresh this page and check this out. <clears throat> now every time I click on something, I have this login loading spinner, okay? As you can see, loading spinner happening, which is pretty cool. And this stuff, dude, it really feels like an SPA, as you can see. No full refreshes. Everything is just super fast. I'm gonna just activate once more the slow 3G. As you can see, spinners happening for, for slow internet connection, but no full, replay, full page refresh at all. So full SPA mode. Doesn't this feel like truly JavaScript? Dude, I think this is awesome, you know? So if I just put the no throttling at all, so everything is just super fast, check this out. How cool this is, man just super fast stuff, full SPA mode, just by simply having live wire click. F. Mendes is asking me, is it like Turbolinks? I don't know. Hey, other people in the chat, can you answer this? Uh, is Turbolinks a little bit like this? I think it is, but I'm not really sure what Turbolinks is about, but I'm a big fan of this, this feature, okay? Uh, I want to show you something also about Wire Navigate, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to register a user. I'm going to go to the name and simply type uh, my own name, password, and confirm password. And something I will do now is click on register, okay? And just check this out very closely. If I click on register, no full page refresh at all. You saw that? So I'm going to click on log out, log in again with my password and no full refresh at all. Just truly like an SPA, as you can see. How cool is that, is that, right? So this is using the wire navigate stuff once again, but a little bit differently. If I click on the login blade.php, you can see if I scroll a little bit down, um, there is this, this redirect with this navigate option. Okay, so some people are not aware about this feature on Livewire. They think the wire navigate is only for regular links. However, if you wish to redirect in your own code, which is the example, when I click on the login button, I wish to obviously check if the user have the correct password. Um, and I also wish to actually authenticate the user. But after doing this, I can simply say redirect to the home page 
and then navigate to that home page just like a regular SPA. So the entire template with um, Laravel Breeze, you can see that is fully using Wire Navigate all over the place, literally everything. How nice is that, okay? So I want to talk about the Wire Navigate a little bit because I think it's one of my favorite features of Laravel Breeze. Let me know what you think about this new Wire Navigate stuff. So all the stuffs, all the stubs, sorry, that are copied to your application project, everything is using Wire Navigate, including some of the pages we have not seen, such as forget password, confirm password, all the profile information stuff, all the navigation, uh, everything using Wire Navigate. Okay. Um, all right, so that being said, I also want to show you something really cool uh, regarding Alpine events. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my Chrome and I'm gonna register myself again because I have deleted my own account and I'm in, as you can see. And now I'm gonna click on my profile tab. Um, so again, even though we are not really using JavaScript at all, my entire web page is fully reactive. So I wanted to you to pay close attention to the username I have here. So this is Nuno Maduro, okay? But let's imagine for a second that I've made the mistake and my name is Taylor Otwell. So something I can do is just come here, type Taylor Otwell, save it, and just pay attention to this thing on the top right, okay? I click on save it, bam, Taylor Otwell immediately appears here on the top right. So it's fully reactive, including this small little save here, appearing here, this doesn't cause any other kind of uh, Ajax requests or network requests behind the scenes. We are using Alpine.js for this and everything is like fully reactive as you can see. I can change my name back once again if I want to, to Nuno Maduro. And now if I click save, the name just changes there on the top right, which is pretty cool. Now, let's see the chat here a little bit because uh, it's been a while that I don't check the chat. I'm just super excited about this stuff. Uh, I'm sorry about that, okay? Uh, are you guys enjoying the stream so far? It is, is been a good time. I'm gonna take a zip of coffee, um, but I'm super excited about this stuff. All right, so what we have here regarding the chat, let's take a peek on this one. So I see Volt everywhere, Volt is fire, Rocket with the energy, which is cool. This is the response that I was looking for, searching. That's cool, Claudio, thank you um, for the feedback. Darlin is saying, it's possible to build a front end using WebAssembly. Dude, I think so, but I have no idea, okay? I think like for Rust, there is this front end U library that it's kind of possible to compile down to WebAssembly, but I don't even know. Um, if that actually uh, was successful or not. Parth, Parth is saying, Wire Navigate is everyone's favorite feature. Dude, that's so true. Mauricio is saying, Wire Navigate for life. I agree. F Mendes is like Turbo Links. Oh, we have seen this before. And oh, I see that the community just have said, yes, it's exactly like Turbo Links, which is, which is cool. Tuto is saying, Pinella. Pinel SPA, I think you are referring to Filament a little bit. And yeah, I've heard stories about Filament. I have seen the live coding session of the Filament creator uh, in Laravel Live UK. And I was, I was really surprised by how good Filament uh, looks like. Wire Navigate is an awesome feature. I agree. And PolyGS uh, add up, follow up to your anchor tags, everything should be an SPA. A new layout class, do you like this syntax? I do, like, to be honest, syntax in general, it's not something that, that you like or not, it's really something that you get used to or not, you know? And for me, like, new layout guest, class extends component, something really easy to read, yeah, I'm comfortable with it. You can style this in the way you want, though, but uh, some, this is something I like to do. Um, Tuto is saying action make my button with extra attributes where I navigate. Again, I think you are referring to filament, um, which is good. <coughs> uh, Fafa Raiz is saying, is that all of a bounce render of HTML from Livewire? Uh, 
of bounce render. Uh, I don't understand your question. If you could rephrase it a little bit, that would be cool. Mauricio is saying, enjoying this so much. Thanks, Nuno. Thanks for saying that feedback. I really appreciate it. Uh, F. Mendes, you have to do more live streams. Thank you. I will try to do live streams pretty much every week starting now. I, I re I'm getting really excited about live streams, so I'm happy that you guys are enjoying it as well. Tutu is saying, just a couple of ways to incorporate Wire Navigate into your filament project. Yeah, got you. So all the snippets we have shared on top are kind of ways to uh, use the Wire Navigate on filament, which is cool. Daniel Felipe is saying, do you think that someday the Rust will be your main language somehow? I don't think so. I think uh, PHP have a bright future, and I, like, this is like the discussion of waves, something you need to be really aware of regarding web development, but also regarding programming in general, is that be really, really, really careful about wipe, the wipe of new programming languages, the wipe of new frameworks, and stick with, with something that is really bread and butter of the main day of everyone, you know? Um, I feel like sometimes people get really excited about new technologies and new frameworks and new languages, and they pass their career jumping from topic to topic without actually stabilizing a little bit uh, in some technology and being really good at at, you know, and some examples you can find on PHP. You have people who have started with PHP two years ago, and today they are framework creators or they have their own companies really building value with PHP or even with some technologies that are considered a little bit old, you know. Um, so, yeah, that being said, I think to recap a little bit is just be careful about the waves and technology. Don't surf the waves and wait for te te technology to become stable uh, to actually um, uh, learn it, you know. Uh, Punya Paul is saying, what should be Livewire property naming convention? Oh, good question. So you are asking about stuff like this, when there is like an underscore. I think we have an example here on the register. There we go. So we have password and password underscore uh, confirmation. So my convention, I don't know, probably underscore. That's probably the stuff I use, mainly because this field will be bind to a model with an underscore. So probably we use underscore by default. All right, so out of bouncer vendor, the username name in the upper right corner updates when the username was updated or the whole page was re-rendered? All right, great question. So he's asking me about, uh, let me just put this on the top, on the bottom right. He's asking me about when I updated this Nuno Maduro uh, with Taylor Otwell. Like this. Uh, th when I click on save, that is like a full page re-render or there is like only this particular uh, field being re-rendered. So the answer is that only this particular Nuno Maduro label is being re-rendered, okay? And that is done with Alpine.js, by the way. So what happens is that I can try to show you the code if I still remember about it. So let's go to update profile information. And typically at the end, there we go. So I see this uh, user save with a new email, with a new name as well. But at the end, we have this dispatch profile updated with the new username, okay? And what happens is that on the front end, um, probably I have, uh, there we go, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, there we go. So on the front end, I'm using a framework called uh, Alpine.js, which captures this profile updated event, as you can see, uh, X on profile updated, and I will pretty much grab the name from the event and put that name on the div um, that is responsible to display the name, okay? So this is using Alpine.js, that is kind of a GS library, uh, used it by Livewire behind, behind the scenes. So I'm really happy about this, turn it out, okay? Okay, so two more questions and then we go to the rest of the live stream. Uh, we are already 42 minutes in. <laughs> 